Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing examples using Spring Boot and Elasticsearch. In this tutorial, we'll be deploying Elasticsearch 8 and Kibana as Docker containers. For this, I'll be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So here go to Spring Boot Elasticsearch. The tutorial that we'll be implementing today is deploy Elasticsearch and Kibana as Docker containers. In a previous tutorial series, Spring Boot Docker tutorials, we had seen the basics of Docker. You can go through this tutorial here. In this tutorial, we'll be deploying Elasticsearch and Kibana as Docker containers. Also, in the next tutorial, we'll be implementing a Spring Boot application to connect to the Elasticsearch Docker container using HTTPS. So, let us begin with the implementation part. For deploying Elasticsearch and Kibana as Docker containers, we'll be making use of the Elasticsearch Docker reference page. So, go to this link here. So, here Elasticsearch, they have given the steps we need in order to run Elasticsearch and Kibana as Docker containers. Also, to run Docker on Windows operating system, I'm making use of Docker Desktop. So you will first need to install Docker Desktop if you are making use of Windows operating system. First, we'll be deploying Elasticsearch as Docker container. For this, we'll need to create a Docker network named Elastic. For this, the command is Docker network create Elastic. So this creates a dedicated network named Elastic. Why do we need this network? So in a previous tutorial, when deploying multiple Spring Boot microservices to Docker, we had seen that when there are multiple Docker containers and they need to communicate with each other, for this we need to create a dedicated network using which the two containers they can communicate with each other. So for us the Elasticsearch and Kibana Docker containers, they will be connecting to each other using this Elastic network. So let us create this Docker network named Elastic. Copy this. So if we now do Docker network ls, here yeah, a docker network named Elastic, it has been created for us. Next from the docker repository, we will be pulling an Elasticsearch docker image on a local machine. So copy this command. This will take some time. So here we have successfully pulled the Elasticsearch image from docker hub. If we go to docker repository images, here we can see the Elasticsearch image that has been downloaded. Its size is 1.24 GB. So now that we have successfully pulled the Elasticsearch image from the docker hub repository, let us now start this image to run as a docker container. For this, the command is docker run hyphen hyphen name es01. So the name of this Elasticsearch container, it will be es01 hyphen hyphen net elastic. Previously, we had created a network named elastic. We want this docker container to run on this elastic network hyphen p9200 colon 9200. So here we are mapping the docker container 9200 port to the localhost 9200 port. So Elasticsearch, it will be accessible from this 9200 port on the local machine. Hyphen IT, we want this Docker container to run interactively. Hyphen M, 1 GB. So, the maximum memory for this Docker container, it is limited to 1 GB. And this is the name of the image that we want to run as Elasticsearch container. So, we have already downloaded this. So, copy this command. So, this will run Elasticsearch as a Docker container. The Elasticsearch container it has started successfully. Also here we get some configurations for the Elasticsearch container that is running. One of them is the password. So when we try to connect to this Elasticsearch instance, we will need to provide this password. Also here we have the enrollment token for Kibana. So if Kibana it wants to connect to this Elasticsearch instance, it needs to provide this enrollment token. So copy these. For now I will just paste it in notepad. We will be making use of it later. So let us now go to localhost 9200. Also we will be making use of HTTPS for this. Advanced proceed to localhost. So here it asks for username and password. The username will be elastic and the password will be making use that we got on Elasticsearch startup. So copy this. Here we are able to access the Elasticsearch container that is running. Next, let us begin with the Kibana implementation. For this, we will be pulling the Kibana image from the Docker Hub repository. For this, the command is Docker Hub pull name of the Kibana image to be pulled from the Docker repo. So copy this command. I'll start a new command prompt. So in one command prompt, we already have Elasticsearch running. I've started here another command prompt. And I'll paste this command. This will pull the Kibana image from Docker Hub repository. So here the Kibana pull command, it is complete. We go to Docker desktop. Here we will see there are two images. One is the Elasticsearch image, which it is showing as in use because we have started the Elasticsearch container using it. And the other is a Kibana image that we just downloaded. Its size is 1.13 GB. So here the Kibana container it has started successfully. Let us now try to access it. When we try to access Kibana, we will be needing this code that is provided here. So select this. Next we will go to localhost 5601. And also here I will need to provide the code that I just copied. Next so that Kibana it can connect to the Elasticsearch Docker instance. We need to provide an enrollment token. So we have seen that all startup. Elasticsearch it provided us the enrollment token for Kibana. So copy this. 
So here page the enrollment token, configure Elastic. So here it is starting successfully. Next we need to provide the Kibana credentials. So we'll be using the same credentials that we had for Elasticsearch. So it will be Elastic and password will again be the Elastic password. So we are logging in as an Elastic user. So here we have successfully logged on to Kibana. Hope you have understood this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be implementing a Spring Boot application to connect to this Elasticsearch container using HTTPS.